YouTube! <clears throat> what the crap's going on? Era of Carthage here. And we are on Total War Rome 2 in another online battle. This time it's going to be myself playing as Macedon, or Syracuse, sorry, against Macedon. So, got a nice matchup here, not one that you see every day. And I'm actually going to use an army fairly similar to what I used with Athens versus Carthage a while back. Um, I didn't know what to expect from my opponent. Uh, Macedonian ar armies can be pretty varied, so it could be anywhere from pikes to thorax swordsmen, with Aspis Cav or Citizen Cav, or companions and Thessalians. There's a whole lot of different possibilities out of Macedon. And really, Macedon's main weakness is the fact that they don't have access to uh, cheaper... or they don't have access to elephants as a successor kingdom. Most of the others do. So let's take a look at my uh, army. It's actually, again, four thorax hoplites in the center, two thorax swordsmen on the flanks, four citizen cav, and uh, I have five mercenary Balearic slingers once again, breaking my skirmishing rule. We'll see how that turns out. It's always a risk. And then I have a skirmisher cav on one flank, and I believe two more skirmisher cav on the other, other flank. And again, they're going to serve the same purpose. See if we can lure away enemy cav and also scout. So I found three Thessalian cav hidden in the woods. And I'm going to try and lure them out onto open ground before I throw javelins because throwing them while running through the woods will cause uh, little if any damage. So again, you can see me trying to lure his guys out of the woods into open ground where hopefully I can get some kills. These guys right now are hidden in the woods. My opponent saw them, but I'm going to wait and spring them around on his general on kind of like an assassination mission here if we can. His general's in a companion cab unit. And he's got another companion cab there. So my opponent's army, uh, he's got a lot of levy pikemen. He's got a couple of hoplites on each flank. He's leading with three Agrionian axemen, which are pretty potent uh, skirmishers, but these guys are going to do really well in a melee afterwards because they've got really good weapon damage and armor piercing. So if you can get them into a flank of an enemy, they're actually not bad. But uh, against five mercenary Balearic slingers, even with those nice shields, these Agrionians are going to get uh, absolutely shredded. He's throwing his um, javelins at my general, which is a good plan. But his guys are throwing them at a very high armor unit. This is an 80 armor unit. And so it's going to take a pretty good batch of concentrated javelin fire to really affect them. And he does not get that concentrated javelin fire because my Balearic Slingers are quickly taking a toll on his men. So let's see what happens here. His men will start to drop. So, yeah. So this forces my opponent to want to attack because he's quickly losing his skirmishers and they're not having a huge impact. So at this point, my opponent's Agriani and Axemen are not going to end up paying off because he, uh, he should have used some massed javelin fire to at least basically destroy one of my units before his guys got destroyed. Um, and again, seeing my skirmisher cav leading his uh, men off on a goose chase, and uh, at this point I had already tried to assassinate his general, which he didn't let happen, of course, but uh, at least I'm keeping him busy. So my opponent wants to engage me with pikes. This is fine. It would take his pikes a long time to kill my men, so I'm just real not real concerned about their approach. And at this point, he uh, pulls his Agrionian Axemen back, so I switch targets with my Balearic Slingers to one of his pikemen. And I don't think his pikemen can kill my infantry faster than my Slingers can kill them. So I'm going to go ahead and take that gamble, and you can see me just utterly obliterating this levy pikemen uh, with my Slingers. Pikemen are particularly vulnerable to Slingers because their, their shield isn't that good and their armor isn't that good. Here I engage his Thessalian cab with my citizens, and then I'm going to reinforce with infantry. My opponent's also going to do the same. On this flank, I just have to fend off one companion cab, which I let get a charge on me, unfortunately. But we can we can deal with it over time. And then I'm going to intercept his hoplites right here with one thorax sword. You're going to try and hold up both his hoplites for this fight, so that my uh, thorax swordsmen can help grind down these Thessalians. They are not really uh, good in, a, in an extended melee fight. He is going to outflank me with the pike unit, which is good, but you can see up front, he's had this pike unit destroyed, and some of his others have been damaged, and he uh, can't get to my skirmishers at the moment. So, he's got a pikeman around my flank, but pikemen are not the most speedy flanking unit. So, my thorax hoplites, they're getting killed, slowly, but that's the thing, slowly. Um, I could have pulled back from him, but there's really no point. I'll just let his guys fix on my infantry. They can't kill them fast enough to keep my Balearic Slingers from doing what they need to do at this point. And my opponent isn't able to put any cav pressure on me, uh, which means that I can go ahead and just maintain this style of play. If my opponent had cav pressure on me, I would have pulled my infantry back. Look at this, see, just destroying the Levy Pikemen. Uh, these guys cannot stand up to mass skirmish fire. They just can't. 
uh, no matter what type of skirmish fire it is, whether it's archers, javelin men, doesn't matter. And again, you can see his Thessalian cab getting chewed up in the long run in this infantry fight, or in this uh, cavalry fight. Though I do go ahead and throw a few sling stones in here to speed their passing, because again, I'm not really concerned about the infantry fight. His levy pikemen just can't get quick kills. Now here he sneaks through a companion cab, and then all of a sudden, uh, which was great by the way, he snuck it right through this gap, and I didn't have anything there to stop him. This was a very good move by my opponent. So immediately, again, this time notice my slingers are not on automated skirmish. They're on manual skirmish, and I've given them orders to break up in every direction. That way it minimizes the impact of the charge from his companion cav. And so at this point, he sees me doing that, and he decides, hey, I'll just rear charge this weak infantry unit. But right at the same time, I take my skirmisher cav into the back of his unit. So skirmisher cav not particularly deadly, but his unit was a levy pikeman, whereas mine was a thorax hoplite. It's a little stronger. And his charge was somewhat interrupted by the Balearic Slingers that he was on top of. Now the mass skirmish fire, plus my reinforcing citizen cab, pinned down his companions. And uh, his levy pikemen started to break in the center uh, because of the skirmish fire and everything else. They just weren't making real good headway. And my opponent goes ahead and admits defeat at this point, which I thought was a little bit early. There was still a lot of fight left. I don't think that he would have won it at that point, but I'm a big fan of fight it till the end. I'm not saying that to be like, hey, everybody razz my opponent on here. No, I'm not, I'm not asking you to do that. Not everybody thinks the same way as me. I'm just saying it's something that I think is a, is a good courtesy to other players. If my opponent doesn't do it, it's fine. It's his game. He paid for it. He can play it the way he wants. Um, but I'm just saying that's something that I think that uh, it would be good for us to all do for other players. When you're going to lose, just finish the fight. They got the victory. Let them have it. Um, but, you know, again, not a big deal. Uh, so good game to my opponent. I, You know, like I said, he got that companion cab through there. That was a nice move. I think if he would have done more things like that, um, he would have been in better shape. Uh, six levy pikemen was pretty questionable. Uh, pikemen, especially levy pikemen, are, are kind of questionable units in general. I like seeing people using pikemen with Macedon because that was definitely their, their style of warfare. I think his biggest mistake came on the flanks with those hoplites. Hoplites just honestly especially if they're going to have to be used against infantry, I don't find hoplites to be the best flanking unit. They're not bad if you bring cheap ones to throw into cav fights, but these more expensive hoplites, it's hard for them to pay off. I mean, it's hard for cheap hoplites to pay themselves off sometimes. So the 650 talent hoplites, I think, were a questionable decision. Uh, because really, when you think about it, the main purpose these guys have is being able to hold off enemy attacks which doesn't particularly make them a great flanking unit. I mean, you might be like, they're spearmen, they're good in cav fights. They are, but think about how expensive they are. Are you going to be able to kill 650 talents worth of cav with these guys? Because no one generally in their right mind is going to allow a heavy hoplite unit to stay in engaged melee combat with their cavalry. Um, so, whereas I had thorax swords on my flanks, which then immediately nullify his hoplites, basically, because they can't break through thorax swordsmen. Whereas, you know, again, if he would have brought Thorax Swordsmen to help his pikes from the flame, he would have had a better chance against my own Thorax Swordsmen. Uh, or Royal Peltis, for instance. Is, you know, if you're going to bring pikes and he brought Royal Peltis as a flanking unit, now that's a big danger to me because my Thorax Swordsmen can't stop the Royal Peltis. Um, so, you know, that, that's something to keep in mind. So, in this case, I just think I had my, uh, my tools during the battle in a better place than my opponent did. Army selection had a little something to do with it as well. Uh, so the Agrionian Axemen, a cool unit, but they're pretty expensive um, for a Javelin unit. He would have been better off in this case to just bring cheaper skirmishers and just use them as a screening device to get his pikes into an engagement. Uh, or, better yet, maybe ditch some of the hoplites, just keep the levy pikemen, because my guys can't break through the front of levy pikemen. Um, you know, he could have ditched the hoplites, ditched the... Uh, uh, Agriani and Axman, and just brought, you know, some uh, Cretan archers, for instance. And then all of a sudden, you know, I would have been in a pretty threatened situation uh, because my Balearic Slingers would have had a hard time killing Cretan archers of the same numbers. Uh, Balearic Slingers can get killed by Cretan archers. Uh, so I'm just throwing some ideas out there. Maybe, maybe my ideas were a good solution, maybe they're not. But anyway, uh, it's a fun battle. I appreciate my opponent playing with me, and uh, it's a good time. Fun taking a Syracuse versus Macedon. Again, not a matchup you probably see every day. So hope you all enjoyed that one. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.